Meet Freya from University of Prince Edward Island. Hi, Freya. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, we are. Uh, tell us about the highlights of UPEI. So for University of Prince of Island, um, so first of all, we have a great learning experience and a friendly environment. As you know, Canada is a very friendly country. And for Prince of Island, it's super, super friendly. It's a quiet place for students to study. So if you like to study, you want to get a degree and you want to settle, this is a great place. And also we have a lot of uh, scholarship opportunities, entrance scholarship, or the scholarship during your school years, and then the graduation scholarships. So every year we give out more than $6 million to all the students for scholarships and awards. And then, and then the next one will be our affordable living cost and tuition. So if you look at uh, some of the universities, because all the fees are published on the website. So if you look at the website, you will know we're very affordable. Uh, and then the next will be our job opportunities because we are a tourist island so there are a lot of jobs available and uh, but the thing is you have to look for jobs because jobs don't come to you you have to actively looking for jobs to add your work experiences and then you will lead you to your final like full-time jobs after graduation um, also our degree is worldwide recognized because lots of students ask me so is your degree uh, recognized worldwide? If I go another country, can I get jobs? I said, oh, of course. So our because we are a public funded university, so our degree is worldwide uh, recognized. And also we have a lot of unique programs, which I will introduce later, and also our immigration um, opportunities. This is one of the key uh, attractions for international students to uh, University of Prince of Island. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so what are your unique programs? Um, so at UPEI, we do have a variety of programs for undergrad and grad, but because we are a uh, primary university, so we do focus on undergraduate programs. So we cover from arts, business, science, to uh, engineering, to education, to nursing, but there are some unique programs in those faculties. For example, for engineering, we have sustainable design engineering, uh, which focus on mechatronics, um, sustainable energy, and bioresource. So this is very unique programs in Canada for engineering. And in our science, we have computer science, which is the regular one, but in computer science, we have a video game programming, which is very unique, especially for students who are interested in video games. And you all know video games is a, like, it's a trend right now, right? Um, and then also we have actual science, financial math, which will lead you a very good job. At um, and also for our business programs. So we have seven different specializations. The popular ones, or the popular ones for international students will be accounting, um, marketing, and uh, finance, and also tourism and hospitality. And one thing I do wanna mention in our uh, business school is like if students wanna do accounting and when they graduate, they wanna do, they wanna be CPA, right? So for CPA, you have to take a test. So for UPEI, because, because in Canada, they keep record of all the students who uh, take the CPA test, which school they're from or which uh, school they graduate from. So for UPEI, our CPA graduate uh, passing rate is actually 100% for the past year. Cool. And we also have some programs related to uh, health science because we don't have a, a human doctor program, but we do have some programs that's related to health, like kinesiology, food and nutrition, radi radiography. Yeah. Okay. And you said your tuition fees are very affordable. So tell us more about the yearly costs, including the tuition fees and the accommodation. So uh, for most of the programs, our science business, um, so the tu uh, yearly tuition, it's about 15,000 Canadian dollars, including uh, insurance fees. So you just need to remember, it's about 14 to 15,000 Canadian dollars for tuition fee only. Um, and then for the living cost, it depends on where you live because we, you can live on campus, off campus, or homestay. There are different ways of living. And off campus is, of course, the most affordable one because you have a control of all the costs. Like, it depends on where you want to live, uh, how much food you want to eat, you know? So uh, average, it's between 700 to 900 a month, including rent. If you live on a homestay, which means you are living with a 
like a host family and they make a meal for you. It's about nine hundred dollars for per four weeks. If you live on uh, on campus, everything's included, um, like your meal and the room, everything's included. It's it depends on the room. So um, I think the most affordable one will be about five thousand a semester. So that's ten thousand per two semesters. But two semesters is only from September to April. But for if you just do an average, it's about ten thousand a year. So. A year, if you study at UPEI, you're looking at about 25,000 Canadian dollars, including tuition and living cost. Truly affordable, truly affordable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the admissions process and the requirements at UPEI. So for admission, uh, because every school is a little bit different, but for UPEI, all you have to do is to get help from you guys and uh, just fill out an online application and then uh, submit all the documents through you guys, and we will uh, we will get a, a document or look at a transcript and make sure all the grades are in, all the courses are there, and then we will send out the uh, offer letter. And uh, another thing that we do need want to mention is our English requirement because I know lots of students they prefer to come uh, directly to the academic courses. They don't want to do English language courses. So our requirement for language it's IELTS six point five with no band less than six, TOEFL eighty with no band less than twenty. Uh, currently, we do accept duolingual. So for duolingual test is uh, one hundred and ten for undergrad. 120 for grad. So the one that I just mentioned is only for uh, undergrad. For grad, it's different. And uh, we do accept other tests as well, but those are the popular ones. And for, and for the academic uh, requirement, it depends on the program that you want to apply for. And normally, we're looking for a range between 70% to 80%. And also, we look at the courses. And one thing I do want to mention is for business programs, because I know for students from certain region, they don't take math as for grade 12. And we do need math. We need either business math or any kind of math for grade 12 so that you will be eligible for business programs at UPEI. So that's the one thing I want to mention. And also for science, we need two science, one math and one English. And for arts, we just need English. But this is a required course. But we do, we do look at five courses or overall for GPA. Yeah. Okay. And if a student is unable to start in September, would he be able to defer to January this year? Yes, for sure. Problem. All you have to do is first pay 250 tuition deposit just to show us that you are still interested to come to UPEI, right? And then you can fill out a form to request a deferral. But for each student, you can only defer once, and the length is one year. So the maximum length for deferral is one year. So if you want to defer for a year and a half, then you have to reapply. Okay. And tell us about the immigration opportunities at Prince Edward Island. Yes, um, this is the most exciting part. <laughs> so for immigration, so there are different immigration programs through uh, Canada, right? Different provinces have different ones. Uh, there's one common one is the one that uh, that's express entry, right? So that's the uh, uh, federal government one. So that one, uh, every, every province is the same. But for the provincial one, every province is different. We do have our own uh, provincial uh, immigration program. But recently, uh, maybe two, three years ago, we started a new program. It's called AIPP, Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. So this program basically is for international students, or uh, they have other streams, but this stream especially target international students who studied in Atlantic provinces and want to live in the, one of the uh, four Atlantic provinces. So there are a few requirements for this Atlantic immigration pilot program. So first, you have to study and graduate from a public institution from four of the, uh, one of the four Atlantic provinces. And the program has to be two years or longer. So it cannot be a one year, eight month program. Uh, it cannot be an eight month program. It has to be a two year or longer. Um, so that's the first, you have to graduate. And then you have to find a job within the four provinces. So you can study in a UPEI and you found a job in Halifax, that works. You can, you can study at UMB, and then you found a job in Prince of Island, that worked too. 
as long as you are in the four provinces in the East Coast in Atlantic region. So the second you have to find a job. And the best thing is you do not need work experiences. As long as you sign a contract, you can apply for immigration. You can apply for this program. And uh, the job is, the job category is, I think it's zero ABC. So that's a lot, not zero ABC. So that's a, that covers a lot of jobs. Yes, so yeah, so and then there's the English requirements, but it's it's I think it's CLB four, which you will definitely have it. Um, so and then there are a few other things you have to apply for PR within two year within twenty four months of graduation, and uh, you have to live in the province for sixteen months before you graduate or something, but. If you study two years, that's definitely okay. So those are the requirements for this program. And if you're interested, you can go online and Google it because it is published on their uh, immigration, the main website. So you can look for more information. But those are the those are the um, the basic requirements for this program, which is really yeah, fast. Yeah. Because the processing time is only six months. So as long as you can get a job, six months you get your PR. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Since we are ICCRC members, so it's uh, we keep advising students about this in greater details, something which most people are not able to do. So do tell the students about the CANAM and UPI relationship. Yes, so we are a partnership. And so basically, you guys help us to recruit students and pre-screen students and send a student to, to our way. And then we have lots of trust into you guys. And you're one of our strongest partners, for sure. <laughs>